Welcome to Once Upon a Coin, documenting the ongoing history of blockchain and cryptocurrency. And as always, I'm your storyteller, Jason Cassidy. Today's story is about an individual whose passion for creativity and penchant for thinking outside of the box ended up netting him a lot of fame and fortune. A virtual unknown not too long ago, they took the crypto world by storm and they've been making headlines ever since. We're about to take an up close and personal look at how the heck a small town graphic designer was able to transform themselves into arguably the most popular digital artist to ever grace the blockchain. This is the story of Beeple. Sun cast a shadow, a digital line is coming over the mountain and over your mind. Oh boy, is this ever a fun journey we're about to embark upon. So if we're going to do this story justice, we really should start at the very beginning. Beeple, whose real name is Mike Winkleman, was born on June 20th, 1981 over in Charleston, South Carolina, although he was raised several states over in Wisconsin. Little did the world know, but it had just received a very curious and dedicated soul dedication that would eventually shine through to capture the imaginations of millions of people. But that was still many years away yet. First, he would need to get an education, which he received over at Purdue University in Indiana, where he studied computer science. Upon graduation in 2003, he looked to put his knowledge to work, and that led him down a path of doing corporate web design. We can clearly see here that the seeds were being planted for what was to come in the future when Mike would eventually transition over to digital art. But for a while, the party was just getting the bills paid, and that meant creating sleek-looking websites for companies that wanted to craft an online presence. By 2007, Mike was growing tired of the 9-to-5 grind and found himself constantly thinking about his passion, art. Deciding to put his creativity to the test, he made a decision that would end up changing his life in ways he could have never imagined. In 2007, Mike created an art series called Every Days, the first 5,000. This project was unlike anything you've ever heard or seen before, because Mike was committing to creating a new, unique piece of art every single day for the next 5,000 consecutive days. The Every Day series, as it's commonly referred to, was now born, and with it, a legend in the making. And sure enough, each day, rain or shine, healthy or sick, motivated or not, Mike got up and created a new piece of art for the Everydays project. While this daily artistic ritual was the inspiration Mike was looking for, he still needed to keep himself busy with other endeavors. One of those was creating short films, of which he produced many over the years. These were 3D animated and usually a few minutes long, often looking at social and political issues. These were common themes that would also find their way into Mike's artwork over the years. One example of this is his 2009 subprime short film which showcased the spiraling US housing market which eventually led to the 2008 financial crisis. He would go on to create many more short films in the future that would look at issues such as digital privacy and transparency while also highlighting his nation's rather unhealthy and complex relationship with money. By this point, Bitcoin had been released by Satoshi Nakamoto and was just getting underway but it would be many, many more years before Mike was introduced to crypto because for now, he was focused on freelance work. With each passing year, Mike's everyday series was becoming more of a story. And because of that, it was becoming more popular. As the months rolled on, Mike continued his daily art creation while picking up freelance work to help make ends meet. It would take several more years before his big opportunity came, but when it did, it would help cement in his mind, along with everyone else's, that the Beeple name was one to remember. And this is probably a good time to address where the name Beeple came from. It was a throwback to a 1980s furry toy with a glowing nose that was sensitive to light and sound. Due to Mike's everyday's project gaining momentum, in certain circles, Beeple was becoming a household name. My name is Mike Winkleman and I release work under the name Beeple. Um... The work is kind of graphic design, um, motion graphics, uh, 
I do something like album art, VR, AR, concept work, um, concert visuals, short films. So it kind of encompasses a number of different mediums, but it's all very sort of digital, kind of techy uh, type stuff. As it turned out, Louis Vuitton themselves had heard of him and wanted to sit down and have a talk. In 2018, an artistic director from the iconic fashion titan reached out to Mike. The director had been impressed with his work and showed his boss at Louis Vuitton, who also liked what he saw. Mike, not being into fashion, knew almost nothing about the company and wasn't sure if Louis was even still alive. When Mike discovered that Louis Vuitton had passed away in 1891 and that he was talking to the top brass at a 160-year-old luxury fashion house, he was surprised. But when he learned that Louis Vuitton wanted to print some of his artwork to showcase at a runway show being held at the Louvre, his surprise turned into utter shock. This wasn't Mike Winkleman anymore. The world now wanted Beeple. And Beeple they got because the runway show was a smashing success and indeed Beeple's work was part of it. He attended the event and saw for himself as a runway model walked by, clearly wearing one of his images draped across her body. He managed to snag a front row seat and up there with him was Alicia Vikander and Kate Blanchett. He was dressed for the occasion in a suit he had bought from Zara, as his wife told him he couldn't possibly attend such a high profile event wearing a brown fleece pullover that he had got out of his closet. It was now becoming pretty clear that things were changing for people, and fast. Big showcases like this helped him pick up higher profile work in the coming years. For example, he did some freelance work for Possible Productions out of Los Angeles. They did graphics and animations for live events like MTV's VMAs and the Super Bowl. Do you remember the 2020 Super Bowl halftime show when Shakira walked through the digital fire? Yeah, that was a Beeple idea. That's not the only big name music artist he worked with either because prior to the pandemic, he teamed up with Mickey Minaj and Justin Bieber. Now, even music fans were being exposed to Beeple's work. Things were going pretty good for the Everyday's creator. So good in fact that even Joe Rogan was talking about him. And that's because in August of 2019, Rogan took to Twitter to post some of Beeple's work, commenting on how much he liked it and admired his commitment to the Everyday's series. And just like that, instantly, millions of new people were exposed to Beeple's artwork. While the exposure was good, it wasn't exactly translating to big sales. In fact, up until October of 2020, you could buy art from Beeple for under 100 US dollars a piece. But by the fall of 2020, everything changed. This was right before the ridiculous bull market of 2021 was about to start. One that would feature NFTs or non-fungible tokens as the hot new asset class that everyone wanted to get their hands on. Beeple's fan base started to urge him to take a deeper look into the digital art movement within blockchain that was forming due to NFTs. And Beeple listened. This is a good thing because what came next would make history. In December of 2020, Beeple teamed up with popular NFT marketplace Nifty Gateway to auction off some of his artwork that he had minted on the Ethereum blockchain in the form of NFTs. By the time the auction was over, the sales proceeds totaled 3.5 million US dollars. The event had some high drama attached to it as well. One bidder made a major move by placing a gargantuan 777,000 US dollar bid on one of the pieces with just one second left in the auction. So, in just one weekend, Beeple's life had completely changed. He had gone from an underground artist that was struggling to sell his artwork for 100 US dollars a pop to becoming one of the biggest sensations in the crypto art world selling out major online NFT auctions and becoming a millionaire in the process. Let the bull market of 2021 officially begin. This was a wild time to be in crypto, and with NFTs being the star of the show, industries like the art sector got a major push to the top of the charts. A renaissance of sorts was taking place with art, as hundreds and eventually thousands of talented artists from all across the world were showing up to make a name for themselves. Names like Josie Bellini, Lucio Paletti, Trevor Jones, Pac, Slime Sunday, and a lot of money were all becoming must-own artists when it came to their NFTs. But no name carried as much weight as Beeple's did when it came to NFT art. And just a few months into the bull market of 2021, he proved it to everybody. Christie's, a luxury auction house, had taken notice of Beeple's bombshell December auction. 
they wanted to see what he could do on a much bigger venue, a venue like theirs. And so in February of 2021, Christie's teamed up with Beeple and what came next? Made headlines across the entire planet. This was Christie's first ever digital artwork auction. So the event was already historic in this regard. It got even more historic when a record-breaking 69 million US dollar sale of Beeple's Every Days, the first 5,000 days took place, with the buyer scooping up a montage of some of the very best works in the series. Previous records were smashed to smithereens while new records were made. This was the most money ever spent on an NFT at the time, and it was also one of the most expensive pieces of art ever sold. Beyond that, Beeple found himself on a list he could not have fathomed. He was now the third highest valued living artist behind only David Hockney and Jeff Koons. In just half a year, Beeple had gone from a virtual unknown to the Michael Jordan of the digital art world. This kicked off the NFT art boom that took place over the next few years in crypto. The importance of the Christie sale cannot be understated, as their embracing of digital art in the form of NFTs brought over a slew of traditional art collectors. Collectors who are now being introduced to an entirely new niche within art, one that had far fewer barriers than the physical art world represented. What followed was a media circus that would make most of our heads spin. On November 10th, Beeple Mania went mainstream when he appeared as a guest on The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon. This is exciting. I'm about to bring out a very special guest. He's a groundbreaking digital artist whose works have sold for over $100 million. He's currently working on a project called Every Days, where he's been making one piece of digital art every single day. And yesterday marked the 15th anniversary of when he first started. Here to talk about it, give it up for Beeple, ladies and gentlemen. In 2021, if you owned a piece of NFT art made by Beeple, you were either very lucky or very wealthy. It was that simple. So when the first dollar drop that I did, like literally within 45 minutes, people were reselling them for a thousand dollars. And it was like, oh my God, like what the hell? This is crazy. And now those are a hundred thousand dollars. In the spring of 2022, the bull market was officially over and the industry was about to be hit by some major collapses, starting with Terra. But for Beeple, it was business as usual, with another everyday being created along with more exposure from the traditional art world. Perhaps the best example of this was his first ever physical art exhibition that took place in 2022 at the Jack Hanley Gallery in New York. Or perhaps it was in 2023 when one of his works finally made it into a museum. The Everyday's piece titled FTX Board Meeting Day 5676 found its way into the Castello de Rivole Museum of Contemporary Art. This was the first NFT to be added to their permanent collection, so once again, Beeple found himself showing up in the history books. It's becoming pretty obvious by now that Beeple is greatly responsible for helping NFT art jump into the mainstream. His ascension helped open countless doors for other artists, marketplaces, and collectors. Beeple continued to grab the attention of the art world with his grand opening of Beeple Studios. On March 11th, 2023, he opened the doors and curious onlookers flooded in. The studio is meant to be a place where the Web3 community can come together and make great things happen. This is Beeple's studio opening. Well, studio slash art gallery slash museum. It's kind of a lot of things that are happening right now, but Beeple is Mike Winkleman. And Mike Winkleman is probably one of the most famous digital artists in the world. At this point, his impact on the industry is undeniable. And his humble nature just adds to the allure of owning one of his pieces. This is a real rags to riches story about an underdog who wasn't afraid to use art as a medium of expression. And given the highly controversial and political landscape we find ourselves living in today, it's no wonder his message has resonated with so many people. His dedication is mighty impressive, and his everyday series is now being viewed as the gold standard when it comes to passion projects. Not even the birth of his two children or his marriage could stop Beeple from maintaining his commitment to creativity every 24 hours. It's these acts of sacrifice that truly do end up inspiring others. And that is certainly the case for Beeple here, as his fan base is now global in reach and his artwork is highly sought after by the public. If you're curious about what he's up to, you can always check out his website, which features a lot of his different works made over the years. There is some pretty damn cool stuff he's created, so I really do highly encourage you check it out. In closing, 
while Beeple may be a relatively new entrant into the upper echelon of crypto, he certainly has earned it. And with any luck, we'll be seeing more everydays created for many, many more years to come. I hope you enjoyed today's stroll down memory lane. Until next time, have fun and enjoy life, my friends. I'll be back soon with another incredible story to tell you.